Now let's focus on fundamentals of Azure AI services so that we can know what kind of AI services Azure is providing. Before proceeding further, I would like to clarify this that we are assuming that you are already familiar with Azure Basics. If you are not familiar with Azure Basics, I strongly recommend you to go through our AZ900 Azure Fundamental course. Obviously, I hope you have already gone through that or you already have the basic knowledge of Azure Cloud. You know this terms which I mentioned on the slide right now, like we always have a cloud which is associated with Azure subscription. Once you have a subscription, it's going to give you different kind of Azure services which can be associated with compute, data storage or something else. Inside one subscription, you can create multiple resource groups and each resource group can have multiple resources inside that. These are all basic concepts you should know before using Azure AI services because it's very very useful whenever you're dealing with Azure Cloud. Now let's see what kind of AI services are available in Microsoft Azure Cloud. We actually have multiple segregations here. First one is Azure Machine Learning. This is actually a platform for training, deploying and managing your machine learning models. As we know what is a machine learning, everything what you are looking for in machine learning is available in Azure Machine Learning. Then we have Azure AI Services, which is actually a collection of services covering vision, speech, language, decision and generative AI with OpenAI. All these are coming under the umbrella of Azure AI services. You can decide which AI services will be useful for your application and your requirement. And finally, we have third one, which is Azure Cognitive Search, which is helping you to do data extraction, enrichment and indexing for your intelligent search and knowledge mining. So that when you have a huge amount of data, you can get the exact useful data from that by searching and configuring indexing for that. To use Azure AI services, you must provision a resource in your Azure subscription. This can be a standalone service or maybe a specific resource. For example, you want to develop using Azure AI vision service or maybe you want to generate using generative AI service. You can create this kind of a service standalone or maybe it's going to be a multi-service kind of a deployment where one service is going to provide multiple facilities in that. Using a standalone service, a specific resource will be enabled you to manage cost and access. That is a service independently of the other services which you may be using. So when you create only a standalone service, the costing is going to be lesser because it's going to provide only one particular service for that. Obviously, whatever configuration you're going to do inside that is going to be tracked by billing services of Microsoft Azure Cloud. You're always going to have a REST endpoint which you have to access using a proper authentication token which is going to be generated by Azure Cloud. Most of the Azure AI services are going to provide this kind of REST endpoints and then you have to submit a POST request in order to invoke it and then you will be able to pass on your authentication token to verify that who's using this AI service. This is a common process which we are going to see throughout this course and this is how almost all the Azure AI services are working. With this, we are done with this module. I strongly recommend you to go through the exercise which is available on Microsoft Learn website and try to do that thing practically which is going to give you an enough idea about whatever environments which are available in Azure AI services. Last but not the least, this is the time where we always do a knowledge check association with this particular module. As you can see, we have three questions here. I would like you to inform one thing that please pause your video right now. Try to guess the answer of these questions. These questions are going to help you to check your knowledge. So pause your video right now. Try to make a note of this in your notepad and then guess which is going to be a correct answer for you. Exactly after a few seconds, I'll highlight the correct answer on screen so that you can just check whether you are giving the right answer or not. These are the right answers for these questions. If you got it correctly, very well done. Let's move to the next module. 